This place reeks of the dead. The fallen star must be near. Star has upset the balance of this land. I seek it. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates. You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Burn those corpses before they rise again. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What faith can save us? Don't you dare lift a... Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the Fallen Star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... Th Watch out! The wounded are turning! <laughs> This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. I will make certain that doesn't happen. Your town is safe. Thank you. I you should speak with this. Captain Rumford at the gate. And it is written, a fire will carve a furrow in the sky. What can I do to help you fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Thanks for the warning, but I won't be dying today. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. There. That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. The wretched mothers were once normal women, but in death they serve a dark purpose. These horrors feast upon the remains of cadavers, then use foul magic to regurgitate the bodies as newly formed risen dead. One must slay the mother quickly, or her nightmarish spawn will continue to grow in number. can't be far from their nest.
While exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, he came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this and new Tristram before it's too late. Just while we slept, they are everywhere. Run, save yourself. I promise, Mark. Thank you for your help. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What of your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. There's 
something over here. Your mother had her secrets. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Captain Dalton! Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, Hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone. Our path is one. This must be where the star fell. Its crater is tinged with some strange magic. Lachdanon, and I am cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Some foul new disease has taken hold in this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Since returning to Tristram, I have seen their numbers surge. The evil forces that linger here give them strength, and I fear that the worst is yet to come.
Oh, minions, stay back! Back! May this wet hold. for me. You live. Fortune smiles on you, old man. I'm here to bring you back to Leah. It is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Our time is running short. What can you tell me about the Fallen Star? Not much, I'm afraid, though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Leoric's tale is sad, but I am here to find the Fallen Star, and the Skeleton King stands in my way. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah, you should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She was out defending the gates this morning. Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down to half rank. Blacksmith, Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? I know it will be difficult, but she would want you to do it. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. Sorry. 
Sorrow won't save your town, Black Knight. have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. Hedrig, I need your aid. I must find Leoric's crown. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. There's a big pack coming this time. Stand your ground! That's the last of them. The bridge is clear.
attack me?
Grave robbers have defiled my tomb. Now my husband writhes in torment because I do not rest at his side. Return my bones so that we may rest in peace. Let me guide you. must be in one of the other ones. Demons have been known to devour their own young when no other nourishment is available. 
Their offspring, the imps, sometimes manage to flee and band together with other demon spawn. They rove in vicious packs, ready to descend upon the unwary traveler and rip his body to shreds with their tiny needle-sharp teeth. Ah! <laughs> 
to bring that monster Leon back to this world. Bless you for saving Deckard Cain. I don't know what Leo would do, what any of us would do, if Cain were truly lost. So this is how it ends? They dragged my cart from the road, but for what? I can't get it repaired. Might as well dig a hole and die in it. I have the crown. How do I reach the Skeleton King? Ah, at last. With it, you can unlock the sealed door in the room where you rescued me and enter the royal crypts. When you find the Skeleton King, place the crown atop his head and destroy him. The Skeleton King dies today. I must find the Fallen Star. this wisely. certain. He alone had the king's ear and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Afraid to speak against the Archbishop, the councillors nodded their empty heads in agreement and sent us off to die.
I can't pick up anything else. I can't carry anymore. When we return from our horrific defeat in Westmarch, I believe that King lost all pretense of sanity. He seethed with rage, spitting curses upon us as traitors. With great sorrow, I ran him through. Maintain your incantation, or you will soon turn. Your Magaya, free! Now, back to my mission. Can't carry more. Who are you? You will know soon enough. Help me find my gear. I will reward you well. Tell me, what brought you to this infernal place? I must kill the Skeleton King. Take this. Thanks a lot. It is fucking past this glowing pit. What made it? I've come here to find out. If it is the Skeleton King you seek, then you will have to fight your way past Jonda. There is no reason we should hunt alone. I suppose not. A strong spear at my side could prove helpful.
black magic bars our way. But the will of a Templar is stronger. You were a Templar, John Dar. How could you succumb to this? Come. The Covenant, my brother. Now, the powers we serve will soon rule this world. Please forgive me. My vision was clouded by the Coven's evil magic. Betrayal can never be forgiven. Thank you for your aid. I will go with you on your hunt for the Skeleton King. But there is one condition. If we find the sacred tomes of my order, they are mine. Your books have no worth to me. They are yours. Then onwards we go to fight the Skeleton King. Thanks a lot. Follow.
I'm carrying too much. I can't pick up anything else. More. You're going to die!
Keep your distance from him. This burden is mine to bear. May death bring peace from your madness, Liari. Really Traitors! Even in death, the armies of Kondoras will still obey their king. Even if you will not. You're almost not worth it. We have just arrived in Crystal. I must say, I'm a bit dismayed. This place is a backwater filled with serfs and an ancient broken down monastery. Hardly fit for the King of Condorus. I cannot fathom why Lazarus was so intent on this becoming our new seat of power.
you really that foolish? Your mother shouldn't have spawned you. The Shatterum High Priests in Karast proclaimed Leoric King of Condurus many years ago.